Hey guys, welcome to Flow Shop. My name is Joseph. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to get rid of anything in a photo. In this case, me in the background. And we can do that with a safety shot in Photoshop with the mask and the brush. So what happened was I accompanied Apart to do this photo shoot and I was filming. It was my first time with the A7S II and the gimbal and I was a bit jumpy because I was excited and because it was the first experience for me to film. I ended up jumping into the wrong frame because the one I was in was Apac's favorite but he had already taken certain frames that looked quite similar to this but he liked that one the one on the left hand side because the lighting exposure the pose expression everything was just on point the only thing wrong with it was me in the background so i decided to take the files off apag and do a tutorial on how to remove anything from a photo so with both images selected now i can go right into photoshop so i'm gonna right click edit width make sure i'm gonna open with photoshop and press ok now that we have both images in photoshop we need to put them on one document because currently we have this on one document and we have this also on another document and that's not what we need we need to have both of them on one document but in on different layers so what i'm gonna do is hit v for the move tool and i'm gonna move this base plate onto this one i'm gonna press shift and release Pressing shift to make sure the image is centered in the frame. So what I'm going to do now is group this particular layer. Command G and I'm going to name a correction. So everything we're going to do is going to be inside this correction group just so we can stay organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new layer because I noticed there's a line here that I can use as a reference. There's also her elbow here, her shoulder, maybe her chin, maybe her hips. We can use all those as references when we are trying to align the two images. So what I'm going to do is create a new layer because I can't really see the line and I'm going to hit B for the brush tool. I'm going to hide this one and make sure my brush has a hard edge to it. I'm going to select a very visible color. In this case, red is already selected. So I'm going to use red. I'm going to click here, press shift and click there. So we have this line as a bold reference for us when we're trying to align the image. So what I'm going to do is just zoom out a little bit and I'm going to make the corrective layer visible. So I can't see the background through it, right? But I need to be able to do that so I can align the image properly. What I'm going to do is reduce the opacity to about this point so we have the outline of the underlying layer showing through i'm gonna hit command t and the next thing i'm gonna do is just try and zoom in a little bit and increase the size of the picture just so it can give me room to align properly so i'm gonna move all the way to her elbow and try and match it like so now that I have this part aligned I'm not too concerned about the rest because I'm gonna adjust it later on I'm gonna move this point right here so it becomes our reference our anchor point and that area isn't going to move so I'm gonna hit command minus to zoom out a little bit like so and I'm gonna press shift and alt and I can start resizing now you notice it's rescaling to the elbow because that is where I put the anchor point and I'm just gonna make sure I align this as much as possible looking at the red line and making sure it's aligning with that black line over there and also looking at the entire size um, and shape and just trying to make sure everything falls into place like so almost there perfect I'm going to release it and I'm going to rotate the image just a little bit so it matches because the hip area wasn't really really matching as much and I'm just going to move it to about this point and I'll press I'm also looking at the leaves I'm just trying to be a little bit careful and I'm just going to press OK. So now we have this newly positioned image gonna do it before and after before and after and there, there are going to be some differences because when he might have moved the angle might have changed but we're not too concerned about the entire image we just need the clean area that we're going to use so the next thing i'm going to do is delete the layer 2 because i don't need it anymore and i'm going to shift the layer 1 all the way to 100 percent 
what I'm going to do now is create a layer mask. But because the layer mask is white, everything is showing through and that is not what I need. I need the layer mask to be black. So I'm going to hit command I to invert. And now we are seeing our background layer. What I'm going to do next is make sure my layer mask on the layer one is selected and not the layer itself. So I'm going to make sure the layer mask is selected. You notice that the white edges are going to shift to it. That shows that it's active. I'm going to hit B for my brush tool. And now I can zoom into the image a little bit more like so make my brush a little bigger and make it softer because I want the edges to blend softly into the layer below. So making sure again, I'm on my layer mask and my foreground is set to white because white is going to reveal. I'm going to start painting over and because we did a very good job by lining the image. All we have to do is just paint and everything seems to fall into place like magic. Just like so. But one thing I, I, I think I don't really like is the fact that it's looking too bright. So we can go a step further and correct that. But in the meantime, just doing it before and after making sure that everything has been properly cleaned and there's no trace left behind. So what I'm going to do next is hit my hue saturation adjustment. I'm just going to go down on the saturation a little bit, maybe like minus six. I'm going to clip because it's affecting the entire image when I do it before and after. You can tell the hue saturation is affecting the entire image, but I just want it to affect the one directly below it. So I'm just going to hit a clipping mask and it's going to affect just the area that we were showing through. Also, the greens look a little bit too much. I want to warm it up a bit. So I'm going to hit this selection tool, click on the green areas. It's going to target that. And I can shift that into a little bit of a warmer tone and I can bring the lightness down a little bit like so. So here's a before and after of the hue saturation adjustment. And I think I like the way it's looking now. And in a few steps, we'll be able to clone or remove the obstruction in the image. And I'm sure Apag is going to love the fact that he has a clean base to work with. If you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, give it a like, comment, subscribe, do share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next episode.